Paris, the city of love, the city of romance, the last place on earth I expected to get a decent pint. Did I or didn't I? Did I get pure horrid horseshit or was I surprisingly blown away by the standard of Guinness? Stay tuned to find out. Lads, this video is proudly sponsored by, well, I presume he's proud to sponsor it. I'm just kind of putting words in his mouth. Very proudly sponsored by Colin and the lads over at West Cork Beard Company. He recently sent me some more products to try and play around with my shitty beard. Getting a little bit better, a little bit fuller, a little bit longer. That's what she said. Got this beautiful beard soap, organic extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil. Jeez, that looks like you could eat it. <laughs> We've got this ginger and fur needle beard butter. Some guys like the lighter, fresher scents. And some guys, the big lumberjack, hairy, hard man bastards, prefer the foresty, woody scents. Got moustache wax, scotch pine, and eucalyptus. It's for those lads who really take pride in their tash. Wish I could do it. What a curl, what a curl. Those are the lads that will really love this shit. Then last but not least, we've got the regular beard oil, except this one is unscented. For lads that might have sensitive skin, or if you're a bit more no-nonsense, and you just want the good stuff without the scent. No messing with this Colin fella. Takes you through week one all the way to day 100. And you can get 10% off at westcorkbeardcompany.ie using the code GURU. Shout out to Colin and the lads for sponsoring the video. Now enjoy what Paris has to offer. Bonsoir lads. What? Bonjour, bonsoir. Yeah, it is even. Bon whatever lads. What's the bleeding crack more like? I'm here in Paris, don't know if you can see. Big fella, the Eiffel Tower is in the background. I'm now gonna cut to yesterday. The video's a bit all over the place. Gonna cut to yesterday, I did two pubs by the Moulin Rouge. We'll go there now. Right, I'm just in front of the Moulin Rouge. There was a couple of pubs in this area recommended. I say that very lightly. Usually when I put it on Instagram, lads, I'm in this certain spot. Where should I go for a good point of Guinness? I've loads of people saying here, there, and everywhere. I got a few recommendations, more like just places people had been and not even saying the point was great. I'm also expecting to pay out my arse for these points, but we'll see what happens. Uh, there's one called O'Sullivan's beside me. It looks like a feckin' It says Irish pub slash club slash restaurant slash music venue. It's never good when it's slash 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 loads of different things. And then there's one down the road called the Harp Bar. Um, I'm expecting very little things. That could work in my favor. Could get some half, could get some like six out of tens and be expecting a two out of 10. I'm expecting shit. Let's see what happens. I'm just seeing now lads, this Corcoran's place was recommended, but I thought it was somewhere else. I haven't a clue it's my way around Paris, so. I think I'm gonna go Harp Bar Corcoran's and then what the fuck was that one called? O'Sullivan's? And that'd be a little Moulin Rouge. Uh, best point to get it to the Moulin Rouge, I suppose you could say. Pub one. The Harp Bar, the Harp Bar, come in for a Guinness. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> And of course, Celtic. Doesn't look the worst. Big head, but doesn't look the worst. Sorry lads, not much light, but you can see me. Can you see me now? Slaunch it lads, like I said, big head. Tunes are popping, so I'll put the mic up to me. Tunes are popping. I'll put the mic here. Sweating head me getting here. Um, yeah, slaunch it, no damage. No bubbles in the head though, to be fair. Head is big, but doesn't feel too disgustingly cold. A little bit of grease on the glass, new saw glass. Obviously, we're going to get new saw glass. Let's launch it. Well, I mean, initially, I'm like, that's it's not too bad at all. The expectations are so disgustingly low from the people that I've been talking to. Just know it's three Celtic jerseys side by side, of course, and a Celtic picture over there. Fucking go on Celtic, I am sweating. As you can tell, some really good classic Irish music on in the background. I think this one is the Dubliners, but I'm not sure. If someone could tell me in the comments, that'd be great. It's 
tell you what, lads. That is nowhere near the worst point of Guinness I've ever had in my life. A little bit brown, like I said, a little bit of sort of grease on the glass, as you can see. Yeah, I know, I was really hoping for it to be absolutely awful so I could just have the crack, but it's a cool little bar. Bar the music, it does actually kind of look like an Irish pub. You never know are they actually Irish owned, but my thing is usually if I see GAA stuff, it's quite obviously Irish owned. I don't see GAA, but again, it's literally just Celtic, Celtic, Celtic. Fucking everywhere, so. Irish owned or not? Nice little spot, really nice little spot. Um, and yeah, points, points fine. A little bit of that sort of like, weird sugary sort of taste off it. Not a good sort of sweet. A um, sh- little bit sugary, a little bit watery. But honest to God, not bad. Oh, seven quid, fucking bargain. I thought I was gonna have to pay like 10 or 11. So in fairness, like seven euro, not super far off Dublin. Dublin, you're talking six, six fifty in in the city centre, especially beside the Moulin Rouge, such a popular spot. And then like UK, England, or fucking London was easily seven euro, over seven euro. So we'll see. Is that spot right beside the Moulin Rouge more expensive? I reckon it will be. And I'm still profusely sweating. Whew. <coughs> Now, is that even going to have a bit of stick? I am... I'm borderline blown away by that point. Just thought it was going to be pure dirt. Um, again, loving the Irish music in the background. Real authentic Irish feel. Yeah, the heart bar. Fucking solid little boozer. Heading to a show called Crazy Horse. Or a show in Crazy Horse. Tonight, I think it's a burlesque show, heading with the missus, and um, hopefully see some boobs. That'd be great, that'd be a plus. So she's getting ready at the moment. You know yourself, lads, the missus takes about 600 hours to get ready. I take about five minutes, because I'm a bloody legend. Um, so I'm sneaking off for a few at the moment. Just me and the camera, baby. Me, the, me you and the camera, and the points. Sit you love. Sit your bloody pints more like with that little creamer. It's a borderline creamer. Look at the stick on her. Come on, the lads. Up the heart bar. I'll swally this and I'll give you a score in a minute. I mean, you can't argue with the stick. I was expecting to come here and give trees fours. Nowhere near it, lads. That is a very drinkable pint. Still got that weird kind of watery, sugary kind of taste. Wasn't the creamiest, but creamy enough. Stick is all right. New glass, we can't judge for that. Wasn't much damage. Head was kind of big, but I'm happy to give that a 6.7 out of 10. Quite an average point. You wouldn't be happy if you got it in Dublin, but presentation wise, didn't look too awful. Tasted okay. Stick is okay. 6.7 out of 10, the hard bar, what a start. Mad for Celtic in here. Celtic, 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 Celtic. Fucking Celtic, that leads the Celtic bar, what? Right, first pub I've seen with an actual Guinness sign. Hawkins Irish pub, Guinness sign. Must mean it's good. Big, huge spot, goes all the way around the side. No mess in Paris. Oh, you can see too well because of the light, lads, but that looks like a bloody creamer. No bubbles in the head, slightly spilling over, but we'll take it. Right, I'm inside in the dark. Um, I wanted to get a seat outside. It's mad in Paris, like literally, everyone just sits outside. You walk into, you walk to a place, it's packed outside and not a sinner inside because it's dark and cold in here and it's lovely outside. But I don't give a bollocks. It's all about the point. Fucking creamy damage on that, lads. Jesus Christ, please focus for me, like. Go on the damage. 
Yeah. Right, the, again, the head is a little bit big, but it fucking does not look bad at all. Slancha, creamy head. Yeah, a bit of a funky taste off that one, all right. But I mean, very acceptable. Don't know why my expectations were so absolutely awful. I remember I did a video before about most expensive pints or something. People were saying, oh, Paris, and they're absolutely shite as well. Um, this was €7.50, so it's going up as we get to the Moulin Rouge. If I have to pay over €8, Euro, I'll be a bit freaked. The bank account ain't looking too great as it is after two days in Paris. Very expensive city. Be warned if you're coming here. To be honest, a very similar point to the heart bar, the last place. Um, tastes probably a little bit more funky. Like you're never gonna get it to taste perfect, but the taste probably a little bit more funky in here. Um, heart bar was probably a slightly nicer taste. This one's probably a little, little bit creamier though, so score was I don't know. I don't know, it's gonna be close. Again, I'm disappointed to be honest. I was hoping for ones, twos out of ten. But I suppose if I walk in, maybe if I walk into a random Irish bar and got a pint of Guinness, I could get one of those awful pints. But these places have been somewhat recommended, so maybe they have a little bit of credibility to them. I mean, and again, temperature is fine. There's none of this extra cold bullshit. So here's a good, this just popped into my head and I I always try to give this example and then I forget. Because I give the example when the shtick is good, not when it's bad. People say, you only get good shtick because you drink the pint quick. And I do agree with that. But I also say, I've absolutely inhaled the first half of this pint. And that shtick is very, very mediocre to bad. So it's just to say, you're not guaranteed good stick if you neck the point fairly quick. Some rhymes. Um, but again, I'm, I'm borderline impressed. I wouldn't say I'm blown away, but I'm borderline impressed. Seven euro fifty though. Jeez, that's, that's harsh on the pocket. But still, like, I think I paid for a pint in Mayfair in, the, in London. It was like six pound eighty. So, it's around that, isn't it? 750, 770? And then in terms of the bar itself, I would much prefer the heart bar. The heart bar is literally tiny. It's one of those bars you walk in and there's the four, there's the three walls you can see and there's no real wall at the front and that's it, a little snuggy part at the back. This is kind of more commercial, um, load of space outside, load of fucking seats inside and all that crap. Nah, the smaller the bar. All the small, all the old man pubs in Ireland are tiny, and it's for a reason. It's just compact crack. They don't really care about trying to get a crowd in. And that's the type of pub I love. Score. Stayed creamy to the end. Stick shite. Even though I drank it really quick. I was probably more impressed, more blown away in the last one. If the last one was 6.7, I'd probably go like, it was creamy enough, don't get me wrong. But taste-wise, it was just kind of uh, not really there. It was creamy though. New glass, obviously. I'll give it a 6.3 out of 10 for Corcoran's. Not too far from the Moulin Rouge, as they say here. They don't pronounce the R, they say Rouge. Right lads, um, I'm walking by O'Sullivan's but I'm afraid I'm not going to be going in. I might come back tomorrow. I'm actually under more pressure for time to get back and get ready for the old booby show, aka burlesque show. So yeah, O'Sullivan's, to be honest with you lads, does not look like a good point to get us in there. It's a fucking nightclub but it looks a bit right beside the Moulin Rouge. Um, might come back tomorrow. So yeah, see you in the next clip. And we're back in the room. There is one more pub I want to do, lads. It's called O'Brien's. It's just down the street. Uh, yes, I am aware I'm a sweaty mess. Big, pale, dirty Irish bastard rocking around Paris. We're actually heading home tonight. I said one more pub. 
Um, and yeah, like you saw yesterday, I was surprised that the points weren't extremely dear. I think I paid seven euro and seven fifty. Didn't make it to O'Sullivan's in the end, right beside the Moulin Rouge. But I heard a lot of thing, basically people saying the point there was horrendous. So I don't think I missed much. Be interesting to see the price here near the Eiffel Tower. We are into O'Brien's for one final Parisian pint of porter. Right, lads, O'Brien's Irish pub. Getting a sign all the way up there. Let's have it. Alright lads, some glass, a lot of, the one good thing is the head looks creamy, uh, big head, brutal glass, there is grease or condensation all over the place, so not a good looking point whatsoever, hopefully they don't, can't hear me what I'm saying behind the bar, it's launching. Surprisingly creamy. It's surprisingly refreshing, but it's because I've been lugging around all day, sweating my arse off. Um, bit of a funky taste to it though, but definitely tastes better than it looked. It looked absolutely horrendous. I nearly wish I had a blindfold on. I hope you can hear me here, lads. I nearly wish I had a blindfold on. I nearly wish I had a blindfold on before I drank it because it doesn't taste as nearly as bad as it looks. And I'm sweating me bollocks off once again. We've Mrs. Guru behind the camera for this part. Took her away to Paris for her birthday. Definitely would recommend the city, lads, but be prepared to spend your absolute bollocks. Um, so, but yeah, no, very nice place. Also, I was told we have to queue for everything and stuff like that. Didn't really have to queue at all, I think, because of the, the big C. Oh, VID is pretty much over. Hopefully, so no one gives a bollocks. So there's none of that space and distance and all that shit. You just do what you want. It's great. Oh, Jesus. Sure, Ethan. So this was seven euro. Again, I don't know what these people are talking about. Messaging me saying you're going to pay 10, 12 euro for a pint in Paris. Maybe that's on the top of the Eiffel Tower. But I paid seven, seven, and seven fifty. That's not far off what you pay in Dublin. Uh, around Temple Bar and probably less than what you pay in the likes of London. I know Belfast is expensive as well, so can't really complain. Definitely think it's an expensive city, but the points, I mean, seven euro is respectable-ish, even though the point isn't great. It wasn't much damage either, but I definitely, like, I'm comparing it to when I was in Frankfurt and, like, they just seem to not give a flying bollocks about the presentation or anything of the point that was literally mine is Now, don't get me wrong, the presentation of that was bad. But, like, it's an okay taste. I could drink, I genuinely could drink a couple of them. I'm not, like, spitting them out, saying I'd never come here again, so. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, lads. It's a bit all over the place. Well, like, you can't really cover. Somewhere like Paris is so big, it's not as if you can go best point in Paris and hit up be like London, you'd be fucking Ubering around like an absolute lunatic. But we hit three spots. I was kind of just expecting, yeah, to go and get really expensive, really shit Guinness. I've been, yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. That would have been more entertaining in the video. But I'm actually glad to be able to half recommend these places. The harp still was definitely the best one I had. And I got a couple of lads messaging me, a mate of mine messaged me saying, they're here for the Euros, they just spent the whole day in the harp. So that would probably be my recommended little boozer up by the Moulin Rouge. Right, I've had enough of that to give it a score. It's definitely worse than the two I gave yesterday. I think yesterday was like 6.7 and a 6.3. I mean, I can't give that any more than like a 5.3. The presentation was horrendous. A lot of mini bubbles in the head. Shtick, not too bad. But glass awful. No damage. Um, tastes a bit funky. Yeah, 5.3. And you know it's bad when I'm giving a score before I finish the point. 5.3. Drinkable-ish but a bit of a twang. So I'll finish it there, lads. That's been Paris. Guinness Guru takes Paris. Three pubs, the harp at a 6.7. No, I don't know if I'd go recommending it, but probably the best one I had. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bond, bleed, and swear.